Hey guys, I'm in a garage back today and we got a project I'm not super excited about doing because I thought I had it fixed a little while back. But uh, 4610 tractor, the clutch is just totally messed up in and out. So we're gonna be splitting this today. Uh, I'll show y'all what it's doing. It, uh, it's the same symptom it was doing before that we thought we were resolved with the new uh, top plate on the transmission shifter top plate. But uh, the tractor's actually dangerous to drive right now. Um, it's like driving something with no brakes almost. You can't stop it. You gotta turn the tractor off because the clutch does not want to disengage. So we're gonna split this tractor and take the uh, all the clutch stuff down to ACC Rebuilders here in Memphis and uh, let them rebuild the clutch. Uh, I've come up with that's the best route to go because most stuff you get now is made in China. So uh, this will be American stuff that they're rebuilding it with all the material. So y'all follow along with us. Can't put it in gear because the clutch won't disengage. So. Wondering what this shady looking roll of wire is. That's me jumping the neutral safety switch. That means the tractor will start in gear for this reason, because the only reason I can move it right now is to get it over to the pole more where me and dad are gonna take it apart. So it is in gear now. I'm we'll probably not gonna raise the bucket up first. Hang on. All right, so here we go. Tell me that ain't safe. We're gonna take a little block ride around the block because uh, it's easier just to go over to dad's house taking the three quarter of a mile ride around the block because otherwise we'll go through about 10 gates on our own property to get to his little uh, pole shed. He's motivating me to do this. He's gotta take a roof off on his shop and he's gonna use the bucket of his tractor to do it. We gotta set presses to build up my new shop and uh, move the building where I'm gonna build my shop. So we gotta have this tractor. He's kind of lit a fire under my butt through the day, so we're gonna knock this up. All right, so we're over here at Dan's and we're gonna take the front end loader off now. And uh, if you wanna see that, we have a previous video on removing the front end loader on this 4610. So I'm not gonna video it again. So we're gonna pick up once the loader's off and get it in the, the pole shop over here to uh, split it in half. So we'll catch up with you there. All right, so we got the 4610 undercover here. Um, so now other than the obvious of taking the bracket off for the loader, all the bell housing bolts, there's a lot of little stuff we're going to have to undo here. Um, throttle linkage, steering linkage. Uh, we got to pull the starter off. Uh, we got to take this, this hood assembly where it bolts to the back part here. So this is going to stay, I'm not positive, but I think we're going to be able to leave the fuel tank on this back half here. And then we're going to roll this front part of the tractor away. And that's gonna give us access to the clutch and everything in there. And I'm, I just can't believe this tractor needs a clutch. It only has uh, 1,700 hours on it, which is not very many hours on a tractor that's, uh, let's say it's an 89. So tractor that's 32 years old, not very many hours at all. Uh, it just feels like something is freezing that clutch up and not letting it release. When you push the, the clutch in, it's not wanting to release, it's staying stuck and allowing the tractor to drive itself. So we're gonna start pulling this stuff apart. Um, probably gonna do some time lapse here. And when we get to some unique, interesting stuff, we'll, we'll video and talk about it.
We are fighting to get the starter off now. These are 9 16 bolts, which these are fine. I got them broke loose. But there is one more back here in this corner. I know I won't be able to get it on film for you. It's right down here, below where my finger is. So we're gonna try to do some extensions and universals to work behind this starter. I don't know what idiot thought this was a good idea to put this bolt back here, but it's got three bolts on the starter on. trying to do was pick this up. On this side of the motor, I take the oil filter off because it protruded past where our power steering lines are. We broke our power steering lines, the high pressure and the low pressure side. This is our tack drive that's been removed. This is the oil sender. And uh, this went to the other side of the motor, I think, to the, the starter. To the starter. All right, there's our tack drive loose. I took this block off so that these can be moved just a little bit because as we take all this forward, all this is gonna have to be kind of just guided. We gotta hold this up, like I say, for our fuse block. Uh, fuel line's loose. Fuel line's loose on that throttle side. Oh, loose, we, of, course, of course, we did this right here for our steering linkage. So now we're ready to bust our bow housing bolts. Any problem Parker had with his? No, I think Parker's clutch material is worn. This is grabbing. You take his tractor, it'll drive through everything in his way right now. It just won't stop. What, what's, what's happening is when you push in on the clutch with your foot, then I think that the bearing that everything rides on is stuck. And I hope we're gonna see something really ate up or a spring's missing. I, I hope now, it's obvious. There is one other issue on Parker's tractor that is lubricated with the grease fitting from the outside of the case. You can, gre you can grease that. his throwout bearing from out here. This, this doesn't have a grease fit. That's an industrial tractor thing. Ford did that on the, right. his, your backhoe's that way, right? Right. Yeah.
get to keep moving. You see that lake? Y'all stay right there and keep videoing. Am I, do I need to go more? No, I, I, I just checked that to be sure we still had tension, that it hadn't leaked down. It's coming apart. It's, yeah. it's coming to rest on these is what it is. All right, let's leave it like that. Hang on, I gotta go up top. We got it over the lip. Is there enough blocks and stuff? You ready? One, two, three. Oh, wait, wait. We're, We're shaking the bolt them. now. Huh? I'm maxed out on my bolt. Yeah, so am I. Okay. See, somebody's gonna have to pull on the jack. That's the issue. Yes, so see what we're gonna do. We're gonna pry. We'll move the jack with that. Okay, that, that's cool. That's it. Easy. All right, wait a minute. Let's, let me just see what we got. Everything. I'm coming up nice and clear. Everything's all right over here. <laughs> It's a big old throw out, Mary. Yeah, but that just that fits into the splines in there. Now. Ball bearings went in. That's, it's so sticky feeling. Yeah. It's like burnt grease. Well, see, this side's dry. That tells me it's not a rear main on the motor leaking. No. Well, I'm wondering if it's the seal that goes in the pallet shaft going in. The we got one bolt holding this inspection plate on. We can look at the back of the motor. Take all this clutch stuff down to ACC Rebuilders in Memphis. Have the flywheel resurfaced. Um, they're going to rebuild the clutch. I don't know what all they do with that. I'm assuming they're going to put new fiber and springs and all that stuff in it. And uh, we're going to put this back together. We're going to figure out what's been leaking oil in here because I think the whole issue with this is the stickiness of the fibers on the, the uh, flywheel. On the flywheel there. So. So y'all like, subscribe, comment, check us out at Facebook, check us out at automaticgarage.com, Instagram, and on Rumble also. Check out our other videos. And like I mentioned earlier, we have a video on removing the loader on this. That's why we didn't video that again, because that's a separate video we've done before. So y'all check out our other videos, and we'll holler at y'all later.